hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you how you can get the data inside the power bi and as i said get data the same option is available over here to get the data inside the power bi so i hope by now uh, you have downloaded and installed the power bi and i'll go ahead and now click over here which will show me the options as you can see it's like bit delayed and it has come so it has options like uh, microsoft excel sql server analysis services csv web data o data feed and blank query as well as option of more so let's click on more and uh, here are all the options that are available since i'm using bit old uh, power bi so this that's why you may have seen that in your version it's like you are finding like a lot of different data sources but mine is like bit limited but still there are a lot these are a lot to to work with so i'll go ahead and uh, connect one other file which i have is basically the csv file which is comma separated value file and let's connect over here and once i'm here let me go to the uh, options where this file is present and sample superstore is basically the file which i will double click and now it has started loading the data so over here it has shown me the screen and given given me the options like uh, file origin what is the unicode characters based on which this file is uh, created delimiter which is either comma or any other or like custom that i can specify so it's comma delimited so i'm okay and uh, detect data type first based on first 200 rows it has detected whether it's a character whether it's a number or date or what it is so for now i think uh, it has shown me the uh, values correctly and just to give you an idea if you see the numbers are on the right side whereas the characters are on the left side so that's why i was able to quickly get to know that whether it's a character or a number but now if you see in this case profit ratio because the percentage sign is present that's why it has understood it character so we'll see later how we can deal with such challenges but just to give you an idea uh, that how the numbers and uh, characters look like another example see order date so if you know the dates inherently is having a number based on which the front end format is shown to you and different system uses different uh, origins of the dates some uses like from uh, 1899 some uses from 1950 but their inherent structure is this that they always have a numeric value so zero is where it is starting followed by one two three four five and every date will have a particular number behind it and based on that you are able to perform even the calculations so that's why it is on the right hand side like every other number so this is how i am able to get whether it's a number or it's a character now i have uh, three options over here i can directly load the data nothing will happen no i'm sorry it will load the data and we'll go ahead and move it if i press cancel nothing will happen it will cancel the entire operation and if i click on edit which is which will open another screen for us uh, where we will uh, have a lot of options to to basically evaluate the data so for now what i can do is i will just click on load and uh, this will basically load the data as you can see it is uh, loading the data into the model and over here it has the fields which is part of the data source or the data file that i have for example category city country customer name days to ship an order so it's basically a, a data set which is having orders information from uh, from a sa sample superstore data set which is pretty easy to understand that's why i mostly i use this because it has values like region in which region sales is happening or profit things like this and we can do a lot of stuff so this is like the front this is how the front end of the uh, working space looks like where you can choose the field you can choose the visualization and then create visualization also uh, so this is basically the report uh, pane you have uh, another section of pane which is data where you can see the actual data uh, that is part of uh, 
your or that is something which you have loaded into the uh, power bi so over here you can see the columns uh, days to ship actual for sales forecast shipping state and if you go on the right hand side you will see all the different columns which is part uh, of this data file and if there is any relationship present you can come over here and see whether any it is having any relationship with others which we will see in future videos how we can establish a relationship manipulate a relationship to get the desired behavior so once we have this uh, we can start creating the visualization and for this particular uh, video we will just create one single visualization uh, to close it so what we can do is first let's click on the bar chart so let's click over here select the category basically it's nothing but the product category and let's select the sales and put it over here and it creates a chart for us which we can expand or which we can adjust the damage the boundaries based on this so this is a basic idea about how we can get the data inside into the tableau and create a simple visualization like a bar chart and uh, start with with all the processing once you create a bar chart like this you will have a lot of options enabled here which were not present earlier and we will see in depth how uh, we will look or how we will work with all of these uh, different operations so that's pretty quickly i wanted to talk about how you can get the data inside and create a simple visualization in the next video let's evaluate uh, some of the features related to the query window where a lot of uh, data manipulation that you can do to bring the data inside into the uh, into the front end for the production of visualization